I know we've all gotten that email and it reads something like this. Dear Kate, we carefully reviewed your skills and qualifications and decided to move forward with somebody else. Thank you so much for applying to the position. Have a great rest of your day. The feeling of complete defeat, especially if you had multiple interviews, is absolutely overwhelming. Although you are right to feel disappointed and upset, the next steps are extremely important for getting hired for this and similar roles within this organization. And you might say, Kate, hey, that's crazy. Didn't you read the note? The role's already filled. But consider this. If you were in fact a top contender and the person who signed the contract and accepted the job drops out last minute for whatever reason, and it happens all the time, you are the next person in line. Alternatively, there may be other openings for the same or similar role depending on the size of this company. Of course, HR managers and recruiters often work within the same industry and know one another. So there may have been other openings in a different company that they might be able to recommend you for. So what do you do next? Craft a meaningful email, thanking them for their time. Let them know that you've really enjoyed interacting with them and that you would love some feedback so that you can incorporate it in your future interviews. Let them know that you're actively looking and any leads or opportunities would be really appreciated. Please do not become emotional as this is likely not a personal decision. And by becoming overly vulnerable, you will lose any future opportunities. To avoid that pitfall, the best thing to do is to have a template email for rejection emails and avoid the uncertainty of having to come up with new content each and every time.